Hold on, West Virginia. Here come the highlights of Powerboat Nationals Hydrocross Racing in Ravenswood. 30, Eric Gabriel earned the pole position for the main event, but when Course Marshal Randy raised the flag, the fleet exploded off of the line. When they emerged from turn one, it was five, Kelly Smith getting the whole shot, moving the Team Faith Fly Racing Ski into the lead. The action was hot behind him as his teammate Brian O'Rourke had to hold off Gabriel and series points leader 22, Tom Keller. Keller was able to sneak past Gabriel for third. Right behind him, Tavares, Florida May Race winner Hayden Skellett got the 96 past Gabriel, moving the pole sitter back another notch. Skellett stayed on the gas, stayed close to O'Rourke, and the 14-year-old assumed second place when the Team Faith 3 went to the Joker buoy. Series points leader Tom Keller went for his trip around the Joker buoy early. This strategy would not pay off as he would return deep in the pack and Eric Gabriel would hold on to third. It looked like Kelly Smith was going to cruise to the winner's circle, but before the halfway point, his Huracan R fell silent with a blown engine, ending Smith's day of racing on the Ohio River. Smith's loss was Skelet's gain and the youngster took full advantage of the opportunity, blasting to the front. In fact, the fans on the shoreline gave Hayden a new nickname, the Green Street. Skelet was lapping riders one after the other on his way to building a huge lead. When he took his obligatory trip around the Joker buoy, he came back on the course nearly a third of a lap ahead of the fleet, and Hayden Skelet went on to win Powerboat Nationals Hydrocross main event in West Virginia. Okay, so I'm here with Hayden Skelet, who absolutely annihilated the rest of the field today in the Hydrocross here at Powerboat Nationals in Ravenswood, West Virginia. In fact, locals who were standing behind me were calling him the Green Streak, which was very appropriate. Now, Hayden, yesterday you kicked some butt in, in heat number one, but in heat number two you had some issues, you missed some buoys and stuff. Can you kind of walk us through that and what you did between yesterday and today to prep for the big win? So, yeah, yesterday I caught behind the traffic and I like kind of missed some buoy, turned too short, and then I realized what I was doing, so I stayed a little bit away from the buoy today, and I got the win. Yeah, the win was impressive, and I'm telling you, you didn't get the best start. If I recall correctly, you were around fourth or fifth, and then the thing that made it nice for me as an announcer is I talked to the fans about how to set someone up and choose a line and make a pass, and you really just delivered on everything that I was telling the fans that was going to happen. They were calling you the green streak. I mean, you were absolutely flying, and in fact, toward the last lap of the race, you were three quarters of a lap ahead of second place, which we're not going to rub in their faces. But, you know, is there some folks you want to want to thank, some sponsors, maybe mom and dad for, for how you got here on the podium today? Yeah, I would like to thank the whole scale of motorsport. I would like to thank Mike Osborne for um lending me his boat for the weekend and everything. I'd like to thank Jersey, my sub, Commander, Wade, and Tim Judd for building the motor, Brown Motorsport, Cleanse Oil, Avco Sunglasses, and everyone that helped me out that year. That was a great rendition of your sponsors. It's almost like you've been to the podium once or twice before. You're having a pretty good year here in 2019, aren't you? Yeah. All right, well, we look forward to seeing more of Hayden Skelet in the future. And uh, man, just kicking some tires and lighting some fires. Brian O'Rourke and Eric Gabriel joined Hayden Skelet on the podium at the 2019 Constelium Ohio River Grand Prix in Ravenswood.